Motion tutorial for beginners, how to use motion. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be taking a look at motion, which helps you increase your productivity and has integrated AI to make it faster and easier for you to accomplish your goals and milestones. So let's get into it. Now, as you guys can see, Motion has multiple different features, including a calendar, project manager, task manager, meeting assistant, and integrations. It can be used for multiple different use cases, so you can use this to build your personal schedules as well as your business schedules. And then if you take a look at their new Teams function, it allows you to build a plan for your entire team. Plus, Motion is available at different price points as well, but you can get a free trial for Motion as well. So we're going to click on try motion for free over here. Now, once you click on try motion for free, you can just go on ahead and sign up with Google, Microsoft or Apple. And we're just going to be using Google to sign up for motion over here to get started with our free trial. Now, as you guys can see, it's now going to ask us whether we are going to continue as an individual or as a team. Now, I want to continue as an individual because I want to be able to use this as an individual. So we're going to get started with our seven day free trial and I'll just put in my payment information and I'll get back to you guys in one second. Now, after selecting our plan on motion, we can get started with connecting our calendars and you can connect any kind of calendar that you are pre previously using to schedule your meeting or your day. So if you're using Google Calendar, you can integrate that over here. I'm just going to continue on and add our Google Calendar over here like this. Now I'm just going to choose my Google account and I'm going to click on continue over here to get started. I'm going to select all and then continue. And then once you do that, we're going to proceed with I've connected all my calendars and then we're just going to continue on over here. And like this, you guys can see we have some weekly hours. Now, let's say I want to set up my work hours where I would like to schedule my task or maybe uh, you can choose a, a specific time. So let's say I want to schedule everything between 9 a.m. to maybe 9 p.m. So I'll keep that over here and I'll just copy this to the entire week except for Sundays. And then I'm just going to click on continue over here. Now, after that, you can set up some recurring tasks that you have to complete every day. So you can change this later as well. So maybe checking emails, having lunch, exercising, meditating, all of that can be added as well. Let's say I have a meditate section so I can add that or create a recurring task over here. But we're going to skip this for now and we're just going to proceed to motion. Now, from here, you can add a particular type of task, um, creating a YouTube video drafting a plan for team sending a proposal let's say for us this might be this might be completing research proposal now i'm just going to click on add over here and now this will be uh, added to the particular due date let's say it's due on the 20th and then i can set the time let's say this is going to take me one hour and then I can click on next over here. Now, after that, you can enter what your team is called if you want to build a team board, but I'm gonna proceed with the individual board instead. Now, after that, you have your system setting theme, your dark theme or light theme. I'm gonna go with the system setting one. And now after that, we're just gonna close this. And just like that, we now have our motion calendar. Now, this is our calendar view over here. On the top, we have our projects and tasks. Then we have our booking and then we have our basic settings. So to get started, I will set up my booking link. So if you are looking to actually set up your booking, you can go on ahead and continue on over here. I'm just going to continue and then I can click on get started. And now I can set up my work hours over here. So if I am taking meetings online, so people can book me for an appointment or if I'm, you know, providing any kind of service, I can provide those booking times directly from motion. So Let's say I have a buffer time of five minutes and you can create time block event uh, for the following meetings as well. Now, after that, let's say the duration of my consultations is let's say it's one hour over here and the location is maybe on a custom location. You can enter your address over here, but let's say for us, it's Google Meet. And then you can also send reminders for that particular meeting. Let's say it's going to be one hour before. And then you have your link for your meeting. Now from here, you can get started with creating your booking page like this and just like that we have a booking link and you can copy this link and share it on your portfolios so people can easily book you 
Now, I primarily like to use Motion for calendar and projects and tasks. So if you take a look at your calendar over here, you can click on today to be sent back to the current day. So you can go back into the current day and you have time blocking. We're currently on a weekly view. On the top right, you can convert this from weekly to daily. Then if you take a look at your tasks, you're going to find the task to be added and add your particular time. You can also alter the time like this and you can click on move task and this will be moved to the other time. Now, after that, if you click on your weekly section, you can also take a look at meetings with your team. And then from the left panel over here, you can actually make your tasks more detailed. So I have this task over here and I have the activity. I have my priority. So let's say this is ASAP priority. And let's say the deadline is ASAP. It's a hard deadline, which means that there is no leeway for you to be able to do this task later and we're going to go back save this task over here now for more simpler tasks we can go on ahead and click on add task let's say this is going to be a daily university report and then we can add our description let's say this takes us 15 minutes or let's say we have to just this is like a short task or reminder and i'm just meant to you know summarize the daily activity in university and send it to like a professor so i can set that as a recurring task as well so I can auto schedule this and then you can also set your time for that particular task as well and then if you scroll down you can open this little section up which is if it should be added to your to do in progress or blocked and then you have your work hours and you can add another schedule over here as well. We can add a label for this task and I'll just create this task over here. Now once I've created this task, I'll open this up and on the top you can click on the auto scheduler and you can go on ahead and set this as a recurring task as well. And then you can also attach files, short codes and hyperlinks within this as well. Now, after this, if you take a look at your task section, you can also open up your calendars the link to your Google account or your Apple or your Microsoft account that you're using. And if you take a look at your particular tasks, you can see them over here and you can invite or create or schedule meetings like this as well. So let's say on the 22nd, I feel like there's nothing that I'm doing on the 22nd. I can just click on any block of time over here, let's say on 9 p.m. And I can just go on ahead and add my meeting with any individual person. So I can just invite that guest, add a location, add my guest from over here. Let's say it's this person over here. And then I can go on ahead and schedule meetings in this fashion as well. Now, going back into projects and tasks, we can create our workspaces for that. So let's say it's going to be personal tasks over here and i'm going to click on next and then you can create all of your tasks that you're meant to accomplish and you can view them in a listicle format over here in your project and task section that is going to remain segregated from your calendar so you can actually just view it view all of your tasks instead of viewing what you're meant to do throughout the day and this can be super helpful in being able to time block all of your tasks being able to increase productivity and work efficiently so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe